it has been more than a year since the Israeli onslaught on the tiny enclave of Gaza, which was launched, uh, launched on December 27, 2008, and lasted until January the 18th, 2009, in which an estimated 1,400 Palestinian civilians were brutally murdered. Uh, thousands of Palestinian civilians, uh, at least uh, one-third of them, or more than one-third of them, uh, children and women, uh, were badly wounded, hospitals were attacked, uh, stores were attacked, people's homes were attacked, office buildings. Uh, in fact, according to the United Nations' own figures, at least 5,000 buildings in Gaza were destroyed uh, by Israeli bombings. Uh, many people were herded into homes and then they were uh, attacked by artillery fire and missiles. So in fact, Israel uh, had perpetrated war crimes against the civilian population in Gaza. At the time, some of the television stations, particularly uh, Al Jazeera as well as uh, Press TV of Iran, had reported, and there was footage available, that Israel is using phosphorus bombs against the civilian population. Now, to use phosphorus bombs against the civilians is a war crime. Uh, now, Israel is not only guilty of war crime in terms of attacking the civilian population of Gaza, but also by its use of phosphorus bombs, as well as using heavy weapons in civilian areas to target civilians deliberately. Under pressure now, the Israelis have uh, come to uh, acknowledge that yes, uh, some phosphorus bombs were used, but that these were unauthorized and two senior Israeli officials, including a general as well as a colonel, have been reprimanded. This is in fact being done as an attempt to try to deflect criticism of the Zionist state's policies because many of its uh, leaders, political as well as military, are now under threat of being arrested if they travel to Europe. Uh, last month, uh, uh, Zipni Levy, the former Israeli foreign minister as well as leader of the Kaduna, Kaduma party, had to cancel her visit to Britain uh, because she feared that if she set foot in Britain that she might be arrested. And we, uh, we, have, uh, we hope that, in fact, more of these Israeli uh, war criminals would fear for their lives and that they would not be allowed to travel elsewhere in the world because they are guilty of war crimes. But this admission by the Israeli government itself that it has used phosphorus bombs and that these were unauthorized is, in fact, a tacit admission that it has perpetrated war crimes. Uh, ultimately, what is required is that these Israeli uh, leaders ought to be hauled before the International Criminal Court and put on trial as war criminals, as have been the rulers and leaders of other countries, so that they can also face justice at long last. Israel has a very gruesome record of perpetrating war crimes and crimes against humanity for a very long time, but I think at long last the world is catching up to the Israeli barbarities, and more and more countries are uh, in getting involved in boycotts of Israeli goods. There is a, an active campaign going on, so that there is not only a boycott, but divestment as, as well. And these are hopeful signs that just like the uh, apartheid regime in South Africa was brought to its knees, that the Zionist state of Israel is also brought to its knees and that Zionism is banished from the face of this earth because Zionism is nothing but a racist ideology. And Zionism is racism. And Zionists do not care for the rights of other people, neither their lives nor their property. And so at long last, the world is beginning to catch up to this reality. And the sooner the Israeli uh, rulers are brought to justice, the better for peace in the Middle East and peace for the world.